The, the original first night in Boston in 1976, December of 76, talked about um, featuring the local artists and, muse and musicians in the local venues for, uh, for their celebration. They didn't happen to mention youth, but we got the notion of we wanted to celebrate the local youth. So Midshore Dance Academy is dancing, again, uh, Mike Elsie's group. And the third one that we've, that we've done is um, Crash Box Theater. We um, bring students out. It's a time for them to be showcased the talent that's local. Um, we have kids as young as six or seven years old. And we have some that will be in their 20s that actually played years ago. We have one young lady who played every single one that we've been here for. And she's now an instructor for us at Mike Elsie's <laughs> Guitar Studio, and she's got a beautiful voice. And she's going to bring actually some of her students with her to play. So there's a lineage here also. And it's part of the tradition that you watch these kids grow up and go on to uh, bigger and better things often in the arts. Something should like that. mention the air guitar competition, the third <gasps> annual, third. I guess two, three years ago. I said, well, let's have an air guitar competition so everybody can be included. Uh, adults, kids, everybody can have fun. I told my sound guy, put on the heaviest music that you can find. That's clean. <laughs> and he came up with a head banging music. Next thing I know, the floor was loaded with parents and adults acting like children <laughs> and children acting like children and jumping around. So it's been such a hit that I decided we should do it again. So we're going to do it right after the uh, first crab drop. Celebration of the, of the crab drop is actually led off by Randy Welch with bagpipes. So and there is just something incredibly mystical, magical, fabulous about the sound of a bagpipe in the dark down a town street. It comes like, marching up the street and it woo. echoes off the buildings. I say it makes the hair on my neck stand uh. up. It's like... <laughs> the, the concept is that it is a new tradition for families. My, my kind of crude way of saying it is instead of adults clinking champagne glasses and kissing strangers in a crowd, this, this is a very generational thing. People don't drop their kids off. They come and they, they enjoy it as a family. Yeah. And I mean, for me, over the years, I've said this over and over to people talking about it. Um, it's so heartwarming because you're walking around and you're seeing families happy together. They're doing things together. They're engaged. They're seeing other families. Everybody's having a great time. It's truly a feel-good uh, event. I mean, there's not many like it. No. I gave you the picture of our button, which I, you got to include. Um, we are doing buttons again this year, but they're free. So all admission is free this year in honor of our 30th year. Wow. USA Today has a competition going. They just mentioned 10, but there are actually 20 names on the list. But we're at number 8. We started at 9, we're up to number 8. But I just want to put a little bit of urging out there to the community to support us. Number 5, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania has a peep chick drop. <laughs> I've forgotten what the town is, but in North Carolina, there's a pickle drop, and it's number seven. But following us, number nine, is Mobile, Alabama's Moon Pie. And number ten is Kennett Square Mushroom Drop. Now, I just think if you go to Discover Easton, you will find the link that you can punch the button and vote for the crap. You can do it once a day until December the 4th and they'll announce it on the 15th. <laughs> Move the crab to number it's, one. <laughs> number one crab. Number one crab. Hey, well, number one crab. <laughs> you can definitely move the, 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 the needle for First Night Talbot 2024.